Portugal, but I'm currently living in France. Um, I found this place in a Facebook group actually, and it came to me because I had some free time this year and I really wanted to volunteer in some projects that really make sense and they really add something to this world and Tao Valley seemed a perfect project to get involved in. What, what, when you say it's the perfect project, what was it about it that seemed appealing? So, first of all, it was in complete contact with nature and secondly, uh, I could feel that it was very spiritual, which for me it's very important to connect both nature and spirituality. I could also feel that uh, I would be a part of a community that uh, could be really interesting. And, and yes, that put me to talk to Adam. It's an easy thing to say and a diff difficult thing to explain. This is a deep question that I'm just going to throw in. But when you say spiritual and nature, people who think like that just go, yeah, I know what you mean. People who don't think like that go, what do you mean? You're just in a field with some trees and some chickens. Like, could you say a little bit what, about what that means? Yeah, so when you search about Tao Valley Project, um, Adam really described it as a sustainable living and living connected with nature um, and really respecting what is already here just playing with it and creating with it so you can already tell that is it has it is a bit connected with spirituality and just a sense of respect for nature and connection you sat here right now you've only been here for quite a short time and you're going tomorrow how has it been being here did it fit your expectations so i had no expectations, but I must say that it really feels magical to be here and to experience this unique community and uh, this unique connection to the land and really learn about it, really learn how can we use it without um, destroy it, which is very important. And also it's a uh, really powerful how we connect with people here because we always take time to share, to have fun, to be together really and really listen. So I'm loving it. No, have you done anything like this before? No, it's my first time. Going. So you're leaving tomorrow and um, what do you think you're taking away with you? and? What are your thoughts about what you, you've learned here and what you might do with it in the future? So, for sure, the biggest thing I take out from here is really community, the power of uh, being together, really listen, and just how when we are together, we are stronger and we can make things way more powerful and way bigger than alone. Like as individuals, we are unique, of course, but as a community, we are really powerful. Um, secondly, is just to, here I could just be myself, which is really important. It's here, Adam really can take the best out of you and you just really need to be you. You don't need to fake nothing. You don't need, you don't need to be nothing else or someone else, uh, by being you, you're really adding to the place and to the people. So that's the biggest part I take up from you. What, what would you say is the best and worst thing about this? So the best is this beautiful river, of course, that we have it just right here. I absolutely love it. We go swim in it every day. That also takes, it's not the worst because now it's very good, but we have to shower in it. <laughs> It can be challenging, <laughs> I would say. Um, more. It can be also challenging for people to adapt sleeping uh, in nature at night, even though Adam really tries to... We have good mattress, we have good conditions, but it can be challenging just to sleep here in the middle of nature with all of the sound 
You've been shouting at the birds. Yes, I shouted at the birds because they were singing so loud <laughs> at 2 a.m. Which is crazy. <laughs> so if somebody was sat at home watching this thinking, I don't know, I'm not sure. Like, it seems like a good idea and I'm interested, but I'm not sure about it. Is there anything you would say to them? Well, I would su suggest for them to ask themselves if what they are doing, is it working? And if they are having this question in, in his mind, it's because probably it's not. So why not give it a shot? Try something different. Try something really out of their comfort zone and out of everything they thought was right before. So the future then, you're leaving tomorrow, what do you think you'll be thinking like as you go back to your normal everyday life about this? Will it all just feel like a bit of a dream or is there something you can practically take into your everyday life from this? I think the, there's really things that I would even like to integrate in my life and first of all I really like this feeling of community and of giving space for each other to express themselves and to just be themselves. So it's something that I really would like to, to bring to my reality. And I would like to bring, for instance, this ceremony that we already do here every, mor every morning, that we share what we are feeling, how we are doing on this day. It's, I found it really powerful and um, a very beautiful, a really beautiful way to connect with each other in a deep but not so it's deep but it, we don't have to go through long conversation just really hear listen to one another more this connection with nature it's something that it's so powerful that it doesn't even have words and so just any, anything else that you've got floating around your mind anything else that you feel like you'd like to say I would also like to say that uh, Adam is an inspiration and uh, I think it's really magical what he's building here and uh, we can really learn a lot from him and I love how he teaches us and he really gives all of him for us to take something with us when we go out so I'm really appreciated for him and I'm really inspired.